Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome back, warm welcome to anyone that's new here, if you haven't been here before, hit the subscribe button and I can come to you a few times a week and we'll have some fun while we're working on junk journals and sometimes little other bits and pieces. So, today we're doing little other bits and pieces. They... <laughs> It is related to a junk journal. I want to order some um, bobby pins. There they are. I want to order a couple of these. I think, um, let's see what sizes I've got, if I can get in there. Ah, right, I've got these long ones. I think. And little ones. I got a couple of little ones and a long one. And what else do I want to do? Um, oh yeah, um, paper clips. We'll order some of them. And I'll get out a safety pin. And so, yeah, then we can crack on. Right, I don't know what size I want to do. I'll put these back. If we get round to it, I'll get one out. But if we don't, I won't. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, I'll put these back. Actually, I will get a couple out. And then I can put this right out of the way. And I ain't got a fat about of her. So, I'll just get out one. If I can find one the size I want. Oh, we'll do a dizzy one. I think that'll look nice. A little baby one. Right, so I've got my, what's it called, paper clips in there, but we'll do these first. Right, so now I've got my pot out of the way, I want to straighten my bobby pins. Now one, I must have got this out to use a different time and not ended up using it. One is already got that little bit, see the sticky up bit, it's already straightened out. And all I do is just go in. I have done this before on camera, but if you don't haven't seen that or someone else, I just go in there, right on the bend, and then pull it inwards so that it straightens out, and so that we haven't got that lumpy bit. On these bigger ones, you might have to, like there's a second bend, so you might have to just do a bit of a wiggle. It don't matter about the middle wiggles. <laughs> We're just concentrating on the end. Right, so, they're done. Now, to s make sure they go on to the pa paper easier. Right, that's probably about the right length for that. Let me grab my paper scissors. There they are. Right. I can take a little bit off. And what I want is, they might need to go a little bit smaller, but let me just show you. I start off by pushing two pieces of card inside. So then I've got something to work on, on each side. And also, it will slide on and off of the page a lot easier going through these pieces of card and so if you only wanted to do a one-sided one you can just put one piece of cardboard but i think they're much better with two so same with altered paper clips i like to do a double-sided so i think what i'll do is get my my bits of card in between first right this one needs a bit lopping off the end oh we'll pull it there and see how that fits yep that's fine and then obviously we need a longer bit for this one not long enough and you can use anything because it's not going to be seen so i'm going to use this and it was 
two in, I think. Right. I think that's what it looked like, that it went in two lines. And you can see one's a bit wider than the other. That really don't matter. You can be a lot more careful, but it doesn't matter because that is just your base and once you get either a bit of paper or fabric or whatever you want to do on top that's not going to be seen at all right so we've got our three bits and let's get started on putting some nice bits and bobs on top i think i'm going to start off just with a bit of sabi silk that will completely cover that size so i want enough or i might either just wrap around so going from this side glue it on and then just wrap it around to that side i think that's what i'm going to do with this little one Getting that bit of glue out of there because the lid rolled away just a little while ago and I don't know where it's gone. And yeah, they start off a bit fiddly, but once you start building up your layers, like you see at first, your bobby pin will move and your bits of card will move but then once your layers start building up they won't they'll stay in place and it'll be fine right. so i hope you're all well loves and staying safe i hope it's not bad wherever you are it's um i've stopped looking at the news so much because it's been playing havoc with my anxiety to tell you the truth it's just horrible isn't it and it's hard enough being separated from like your loved ones and that i miss my baby so so much like my oldest daughter and her kids because they didn't come over just before lockdown because um lily had tonsillitis so my daughter weren't going out already and then we all got put on lockdown and so yeah i haven't seen them for weeks and it is awful it really is we can facetime so i'm grateful that there is technology that makes it easier because i can still see them and talk to them and that obviously if it was back in the old days i'd be able to have talked to them on the phone but yeah with technology that you can actually see each other that's lovely so that is something to be grateful for isn't it because you've got to look for the silver linings really as at a time like this otherwise it's all doom and gloom isn't it no one needs that no one at all so i've been keeping busy facetiming and just yeah looking for little bits and bobs to do keep myself active and right i like that and we'll just get a bit we'll put a bit of this pink on here right. and so yeah i hope you're all staying busy and keeping yourself out of mischief and out of danger but you do start to go a bit stir crazy don't you when you've got to stay in the old time and all of that it um like i normally spend half my time at home and then half my time over jamie's and i can't at the moment so that's really hard really really missing but i needed to be here at home at my own house and then we got put on lockdown and so that's probably the hardest thing is not seeing him and the kids you know even though i can talk to them on the phone that's the bit that's the real kicker but nevertheless can't complain when we're all wealthy you know because that 
really is the most important thing, isn't it? That we are all staying out of danger and staying safe. Right, so I've got my three bases. And where is it? Right, I saw this earlier when I was having a little rummage thinking of what fabric I could use. And I think, look, it's the perfect width for that. And I just think that will look so, so gorgeous. So I'm just going to snip a bit off. And I was just checking there what way the opening is. And that on there already, I just think is adorable. Even without doing anything else, that side could be left really. I might, I'll probably will put a little bit more bling or whatnot on there. But just that, look at it. On the page, right. The trickiest bit is like when you first put in your um, it on the page. But look, that will be it on the page already. And holding something like this in place. And I think that is wicked. I love that. But I probably will add a little bit more. Um, and then on this side, I've got to do a bit of a better deal of covering that bit up. So, oh, that would look lovely. Right. I'm just going to cut around this, leaving it with a bit of a tail. Oh. Right. Um, I'll come in like that. Oh, oh I've gone all quiet where I'm concentrating. <laughs> and I, for once, I'm concentrating. Okay, so we get rid of that bit. I do like that only down bit. We'll fray it a bit in a sec. I'll put these bits back in with the scraps because they've got twinkle bits on and they will probably look cool somewhere and I'm just roughing up the edges so it don't look like it's been cut by a pair of scissors oh look at that I really like that look at that Right, so I'm going to get some glue, making sure I'm only keeping it on this side. Because that, uh, that bottom bit is from the other side. But like I said, when it's on the page, of course you don't see that. So, that like that. And I kind of like that it'll be coming off the page a bit. I think that's cool. Right, so, when it is on the page... Oh, I can't get in now. But sometimes you do have a little bit of um, a struggle when you're first getting getting it on the page. But then once you're there, like, like that. And then once you've got your first bit laid down, you can keep it on there while you're working, flipping it from one side to the other until you're happy with what you've got so i do really really like that i might have something coming down here oh i'm gonna have a little quick rummage because i think i've got the perfect thing right i found a little off cut of these small pink pom-poms and i think i'm gonna put that there i might put it underneath lift this a little bit put it there and then stick that back down i do apologize for the lion king in the background um it is quite layered but um it's not the cartoon one you know the one like where it looks like it's real animals levi will fall asleep to that every afternoon he likes to have that on if you don't put it on he cries 
<laughs> but if you do put it on, he doesn't, and he goes to sleep to it nearly enough every afternoon, like clockwork. It's magic. So <laughs> that's why that's on in the background. So now we've got three little pom poms poking out from under there, and with the sparkle and everything, I like that as it is. So on this side, I think. There is, although there is twinkle anyway with some sequins, I might add a couple of bigger ones. Nah. Um, no. I might even leave that as it is. Oh, oh, oh no, I could put a word on there. Let's see what we've got. We've got faith. Peace. Believe. Oh, I like believe. It looks in the colours. Nice. It's like bluey and purpley. Well, lilac -y. It's quite light because it's only been um, sprayed with alcohol inks. Every now and again, I'll just print off a sheet of words or words and quotes and I'll either coffee dye them or spray them with alcohol inks. Tear them up, put them in here. And then it's handy that you've always got something right next to you. Right. Okay, so I could put that there. Might have another bit of something that's coming out. Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Oh, we've got our sparkliness, haven't we? Right. Oh, I don't need a big bit. Just a bit like that, that's too long. I'll cut that again and then smush it together. A bit of glue to help with the smushing. Oh, right, and then under there, a bit on our word, and then I can pull it about a bit once. I've got, no, I'll pull it about a bit before my word goes down. Right. And then, right, pull that about, and this side. Right, and then we've got an altered bobby pin. I really like that on both sides. So that is ready for the journal I'm working on and now we want to do these couple right which like I said it can be easier if you put it on a bit of paper or card at the beginning and then you know that you're sticking it to the right side oh I just add that on there and then pulled it off that's it Get rid of that bit. And we've got our pink bit. Right. right, there we are. And I'll move this one off. Put that over here. So, I've got this. I think is gorgeous like that needs trimming a little bit oh that went a bit weird up there right something like that and then something over the top. I really like that. And they'll hold like a journaling card or like any bit of ephemera in place, an envelope, whatever you want. They are really strong. I find, think they're better than paper clips, to be honest. An altered bobby pin, I think, is much stronger. 
Right, I really like that with the tassel bit. I don't know whether this is too long, this blue bit, but this one. It's really nice. I could chop a bit off, couldn't I? Right. Let's see. I only need a bit about that big. So we'll come in there. We can save the rest for something else. And it can either be like that. Or I could give it a bit of a trim at the bottom. I'm going to stick it on first. And then I know what I'm dealing with. Right on there. That might be alright at that length. I do like it. Right, let's try and get that bit off. And then we want something to go on top of there. Right, I found a couple of little gorgeous bits. This is where your little off cuts of your blingy bits, the bits that you thought you've cut it off that's the end of something and instead of throwing it away you've chucked it in your scraps this is where they come into their own and you're so glad that you didn't chuck them away because even with this bit some of the sequins have frayed off the end and so before i make another cut i'm going to glue them together and to the fabric so that they ain't going nowhere and let's see a long Right, and so in about here, I'm going to do the same thing, gluing the sequins and the fabric together on the top before I make a little cut. And then, let's just get rid of that bit. Right. Oh, didn't want to go. And this will just stick over the top like that. Right, so I can cut this bit off. Keeping that still because I might stick it on another little tiny thing. It just does make you so glad that you didn't sweep that bit off into the bin. Oh! Oh, gently. Sit down. Smush the glue and the sequins together, and then once that dries, that ain't they ain't never falling off then. And that is just really pretty, I think. Right, so we want something on this bit. And then that side's done. I could do the same with this bit that's all frayed and everything. I really like it though. So look at that on there. That is adorable. Right, so I need to do the same thing. Getting some glue around these beads. So that when we make our cut they're not going nowhere. Right. And it dries clear, so you're not going to see it once you've done it. Right. Get our glue on there. Oh. I'll trim the other end once I've got it in place. And I want to keep that frayed bit. So I'm going to lose that bit, but the bit that's fraying at that end, I really like the look of that, and that'll be coming off the page exactly how it's sitting on there. So I really like them, that side, and now we've got to work on this side. And you don't have to go with it all being blingy and that. Obviously I've got tassels on both of them, that side, so I'm not going to have tassels on this side. And I'm just looking, I found this, and look at that, just on its own, just on its own, that's banging I reckon, so I'm having that, plenty of glue on there, because this is quite a thick piece, and 
I really, really like that as it is. Don't need nothing else going in it. I'm working on a boho journal and for me, that's perfect. Right. I've got this look. It's just such a small piece, but it's really nice. So I'm going to cut a bit of that off. I can lose a little bit more, straighten it up a little bit. Oh, oh! Right. So that can go on there. Right. And then, let's see. Maybe a small bit of this. Right, I'm going to move this just a tad before it's properly dry. Right, I might need a little bit more glue under there at this end because the further end I'm just going to have. A little bit of this so I've got to get rid of most of the netting around it I've just chopped through a bit of it one of those what look like a bit like leaves one of the little bubbles but it doesn't matter oh look at that that's really cute right right um. Right, I'm really happy with both of those. Oh, I've got a little bit of fringe stuck on there. That's it, it's gone. Right, they can be drying. And I think they're going to look wicked once they're in the book. Right, I want to do my safety pin next. But, and I found this gorgeous bit of fabric. fabric but, I think I need to get one of my bigger safety pins out. Right, so I'll be right back. So I've not gone for a massive one, just that size, like a medium sized one. And this is just such a piece of cake. It, um, I'm not going to go on the pin side because I want that to go into the fabric. And so all I want to do with this one, and I want you to be able to see the pin, you know, as well. So I'm just putting that in there. And obviously any fabric would do. I really like this bling. No, so I think what I might do is just put a little bit, a little tiny bit of card in there. Probably have to trim that a bit smaller. Just to give it a bit of rigidity. Is that the word? Rig Make it a bit stiffer. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Right. Because I want to punch an hole and um, hang something from it. But when you go to punch an hole with fabric like this, sometimes it'll just go straight through it. And like sort of not punch the hole, just get the fabric stuck in the hole punch. If there's a bit of card, I will put a bit on the outside as well. It makes it punch the hole. But this as well is just helping it to stay in the shape that I want it, you know. Because to get the hole nice, I'll just sandwich it in between a bit of anything else. But... um yeah, I want it to stay and not get crumpled. I want it to stay like this. So I love that. And now I'm going to punch a hole over in this corner. Right, let's see. About there, I think, in this right.
Right. Great. So we have actually ended up with an owl because sometimes, like I said, can be a bit tricky. So I want bone violet. It's just these little kind of finishing touches that I think really make it nice because then there's so much to see, you know, all the time. Things that you might not notice the first time. Right, so that's going to pin on and that is going to be there. I want something dangling from my little eyelet. Right, I'm just grabbing a little gold jump ring out of here. And I've got this feather and bead on a little bit of gold chain. And I'm going to hang that off there. Because it's not going to add real bulk to the journal. Because that's a feather. And yeah, there is that bead. But still not massive oh and if you're wondering why i've got that sticker stuck to me we're toilet training olivia so she gets a sticker and that to put on her chart every time she goes to the toilet and i went a loo earlier and when i come out she put a sticker on my hand <laughs> for doing well <laughs> bless her little heart so yeah that's why I've got that on because we're toilet training. Right, so that, I'd say that's pretty much done. But I think to tie in the blue and everything else, I'm going to get another one of my little words, but I'm going to make it a bit blue. So let's see. What we got? Nature. I've already had believe. Beauty. Um, faith. And then one's a croft up. Cherish. Cherish might be a bit too big. Oh, what did I have? Let's down the bottom here. Faith. We could have that. That'll fit. And I'm just gonna neaten it up a bit. There's a chunk hanging off there. I can make it a little bit smaller because it's got a fit on here. Right. Will that fit? I'm going to take a little bit more off of this side. And then once that... I might need to dip this actual in the ink instead of just rubbing it. It's bone dry. It's where they're new. When you use your old ones, they're full of the ink, aren't they? You can carry on inking for ages. But, yeah, all these sponges are quite new, so they're not been used enough to have a permanent supply of ink <laughs> in them. Right, I'll just pop that there because I might use it again. And, right, flip that over. That's better. And I'm just going to pop that. I'll get rid of that bit of dodgy glue. Oh, it didn't want to go in the bin. It just wanted to fling straight back at me. Right. And we've got our word right there. And then our pin can pin on to any bit of trim or whatnot that's in the journal and yeah just looks so so pretty instead of being just normal everyday household pin right so i'll put that there with the others and now i'm going to do a couple of paper clips right so i've got a couple of paper clips and the easiest thing to ever do with a paper clip is just fraddle something onto it and um, which is and i love that it, i just love the simplicity of it and just how cute it will look when that's on the page so i am doing nothing to this one really apart from i've hung that little angel on there that i think is super cute um and then these couple yes 
Mm. I'm going to do what I did earlier with my card. Right, sorry, I just had to stop so that my daughter could come and get something. So I've got my bits of cards. I've got two pieces. As you can see, them two bits ain't the same. You're not going to see them. But you can, if you want to. You can have parts of that shown through. You can make it right bigger. You can do loads of stuff. Just so much. And then it works in the exact same way that the paper, it will sit on the paper like that. So that's the way I do it. And then all you see is what you want on the top being really decorative so um, let's grab some bits and pieces right i've decided on one of these i'm going to swap out one of these bits for a longer bit oh i'm going on the small side there because i want to put an eyelid and hang something and I want it to be underneath so that's right near the edge but it'll be okay just to get that in place so that I can hang a tassel from it and then we'll put a bit of fabric or what, whatever we want over the top of that. So I want one of these tassels. Right, got a nice silver one. I'll use that. Put it straight onto the eyelet. And then we can put our bit of what we want over the top. Right. So we've got our tassel. And right. Let's see, that's really nice. that possibly or now I don't know whether I want a silver one because I'm not sure oh I've got well it's too sheer I was thinking of maybe something like that I've got this black this is very sheer but with all silver sequins I could put that over the top of something else right I've found something suitable I love this so I'm just going to cut there and I probably need to take a bit more off but I'm just seeing uh, trim that and then pull it about I see it's nice and frayed at the top I think I'm going to really like that, just as it is. I might even change the tassel though to an orange tassel, which I do have an orange one. I just think that will set it off a lot better than the silver one. So I'm just going to swap that out. Close that up. And swap it out with the orange one that is right at the bottom. It would have to be, wouldn't it? No. That. And I just think that's going to look perfect. Right, let's get the opening. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> put something down and two like nanoseconds later I've already forgotten where I've put it. Right. Oh 
龙。So that's going to be there with that over the top. I really like that. So I want plenty of glue on my bit of card. Oh, come on. And then that side is done. I really like that. Right, let's put it on a bit of card so you can see. When it's on the page, that's what you'll see. Nothing else, just that. Which I think is super cool. I love it. I might put a little bit... Oh no, it's stuck down. I wasn't sure if it had or not. So that side, I'm happy with. I've just got to do this little side now. So... What do we want? I'm thinking something like that is cool, just as it is. Let's cut off the fade bit. Just something like that. That's perfect. How long do I need it? Yeah, yeah. Like that, sitting on top of our card. I could take a little smidge off of there otherwise it won't cover the end. Right. And now that's it, it's a perfect fit. So plenty of glue All around your safety pin. And then that will sit lovely on top of there. It's just so pretty. I really do like how these turn out. So that one's done. That one is done. We've just got to work on this little one now. Right, so... I've got this, similar to that, but I really like it, so I've got to use it. It is just so gorgeous, so that will be that. Oh, got too many scissors out. Okay, so that will just sit on there nicely like that. I could put something on that bit. Straighten up my safety pin. I mean my, uh, what are they called? Paper clips. <laughs> Straighten that up. Right. Put that bit of random fluff off. Right. I think that's so lovely. That could even be left as it is. I could have a little word or something there, but I, I just like it how it is. Um, let's just see. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two. Once it's inked up. Yeah, that would look nice in there. That's it. There should be enough on here just for a light little bit of colour. I'm covered in fluff. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually like I'm furry. Right, happy there. Right, I'm a bit overboard, so I need to just colour that in. That's it. Oh! Go away! <laughs> and that will sit there like that. Oh, I really do like that one. And this side, I thought 
we could have, I found while I was rummaging, this little bit of denim. So I could put a bit there. We'll cut it a bit longer because I want to fray the ends a little bit and then I can see what size it needs to be. Right. And this end. I think I need a bit more off. Yeah, quite a bit more off. Right. And we'll just fray that again. And I thought that could go on there. And now I've got a random bit at the top. That's it. Uh, that could go on there like that. And then with a bit of bling going through the middle. Although looking at it, I'm thinking I might need something underneath. If I do, I'll just pull this off. No. Right, so I've got my bit of denim. Right, let's pop it onto the card and see how we're faring, whether I've got the bits covered. Right. Yeah, right. And then I wanted a bit of blingy kind of ribbon. Yeah, this looks perfect. Right. Oh, is it, do I want that? Or do I want that? I think this one. I think that looks lovely. It's got a few stray fibres on it, but that's it. I've got rid of them. A bit more off. Like that. Just as simple as that. was no drama at all was it just so simple and yeah can hold any bit of your ephemera onto the page and make it look that little bit more gorgeous so where's the other ones we've done we did these didn't we at first and that is the flip sides and then we've done these and then yeah the simplest of all is just popping something on the end of a um, paper clip and you're good to go. So, oh, and we did our safety pin, didn't we? What have I done with safety pin? Can you see it? It's got like a game, isn't it? Where's Molly? Where's her safety pin? Right, I did have it. Oh, here it is. We did the safety pin as well, and there's the other side. Yeah, so super cute, little embellishments. I'm now covered in glue and fluff, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and clean myself up. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm here a few times a week. We do have some fun making all different bits and bobs. And yeah, leave me a comment what you're doing to keep yourself busy and that. And um, yeah, if you liked it, if you didn't, just tell me. I don't mind, you know. If you prefer the longer one videos or the shorter videos, just tell me, okay? Really do love to hear from you. So I'll be back with something else very, very soon. I love you all loads. Stay safe and well. Love yous. Bye.